Whether you're a new player or a veteran, I guarantee you will learn a lot from this video. Here's 101 tips that you can use right now in GTA Online. When you're in a motorcycle club, you can turn on formation assist. This means that anyone on a motorbike will go as fast as the leader, which means yes, even the faggio can go just as fast as the fastest bike in the game. When you're on your phone, instead of spamming the back button to get out of all the websites that you're in, you can just press triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox and that will instantly close your phone. If you jump into the police riot van, you actually get full armor. This can actually be pretty useful whenever you're fighting the cops. If you get into an ambulance, on the other hand, you'll actually get a massive chunk of your health back. Pretty cool that Rockstar thought to add that. If someone's locking onto you with guided missiles, you can actually just shoot a flare gun and the missiles will go to the flare. This is really useful if you're driving around in a car or even a plane or helicopter that doesn't have counter matches. Instead of going to ammunition or your armory, you can actually buy ammo right from your interaction menu. Crazy how many people don't actually know this, but it's very, very useful. If you're in an unskippable phone call, and I know how annoying they are, believe me, you can actually just bring up the pause menu and that will instantly end that call. If you're on PlayStation, you can actually change the radio by swiping up or down on the touchpad, and you can change weapons while driving by swiping left or right. Getting the high score on all of the bunker shooting range challenges gives you different rewards. One of them is an extra five capacity slots for throwables. And as we all know, you can never have too many throwables. Activating stealth mode on on the Akula or the Raiju Jet will bring your wanted level down by two stars. A lot of people don't actually know this one, but the handbrake does work in boats as well. Boats can be very difficult to turn, but if you hold the handbrake, it will turn a lot faster. Pulling back on the joystick in a boat makes it go faster normally. A basic tip to go faster in boats is pull back when the water is calm and push forward on the joystick when you're in wavy water. If a player's in an armored vehicle and they're throwing sticky bombs at you, if you shoot the sticky bomb, it will instantly destroy the vehicle, no matter how armored the vehicle is. When you're in the back seat of the armored Karuma, you can shoot in a full 360 degrees. The armored Karuma is great, but as the driver, the inability to shoot a full 360 is kind of one of the only downsides. All GTA Online players should be using GTAweb.eu. It's a live action updating map that shows you all of the daily collectibles and locations for anything you can need. And no, this is not sponsored, it genuinely is just one of the best tools for any GTA Online player. But you know what is sponsored? The entire computer that I'm making this video on. The awesome team over at PLE Computers just hooked me up with a brand new PC powered by an Intel Core i9-13900K. So let's talk about what's inside the PC. As I mentioned, the CPU is the Intel i9-13900K. We're running an NVIDIA RTX 4080 GPU, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a two terabyte Gen 4 SSD, SD, a 4 terabyte hard drive, 850 watt power supply, and a Lian Li 011 dynamic Evo case. Anyone who purchases this custom built PC will have the option to get a custom UV printed case like the one provided to me, and you can also modify the specs to your liking if you want to change any of the specs. I'm genuinely incredibly stoked with how this PC turned out. It's got the logo of the channel on the inside of the computer as well as on the front. So if you're looking to upgrade your PC, the folks over at PLE Computers can do the exact same thing for you. So PC nerds, if you're looking to upgrade, again, check them out. Link in the description below as well as the pinned comment. And thank you again. Huge thank you to the folks over at PLE. You guys are awesome. With the latest update to GTA Online, you can now teleport from your hangar straight down to the airport. You can do this by walking over here in your hangar, teleporting down to flight school, which is right at the gates of LSIA. There's two more other places to fast travel from. The first is your agency. You can do that by going over here. And you can also fast travel from your casino penthouse by going over to the phone over here. There is an additional fast travel as well, although it's not from a property. This one's actually from the taxis. If you call a taxi and hop in the back, if you set your location to one of the points of interest, unfortunately you can't use a custom waypoint, you can actually pay a little fee and you'll fast travel right there. Unfortunately though, that one does have a 48 minute cooldown. When taking cover on a corner, if there's a wall next to you that's sort of on the other side of a doorway. If you just poke your head out and then press the cover button again, you'll switch walls. Kind of looks like you're John Wick or something. It's pretty cool. If you put a mask on while you're out of sight of the cops, 
that will reduce your wanted level by one star. If you're going to steal a car off the street, on your way there, shoot out the driver's side window. That's going to speed up the animation of stealing the car because your character won't have to elbow the window. If you shoot the back blade of a helicopter, it'll go down in just a few shots normally, one of the fastest ways to take out a helicopter. Unless you have the necessary vehicles to back yourself up, don't go picking fights in online public lobbies. Most players you pick a fight with are going to have better vehicles than you and they're going to be pretty good at using them. If you piss off the wrong person, they're kind of going to hunt you down until you leave the lobby. They literally won't let you play the game, so probably just keep to yourself. If you're struggling with making friends in GTA Online, which I don't blame you, I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description below. We have LFG groups that are specifically designed to help you find friends. Take advantage of the weekly discounts and money bonuses. Especially for newer players, these are some of the best ways to make money in the game, and the weekly discounts can also be very, very useful to help you save some money on some really good properties or vehicles. Instead of walking around GTA Online not knowing how to make money, look up some guides, whether it's from myself or the hundreds of other awesome GTA Online content creators. We have specifically made guides for you guys so that you don't need to buy shark cards. If you're okay with having a pretty high electricity bill, there's actually a lot of good AFK money farms available in GTA Online. This makes use of a lot of the passive businesses in the game, mainly the nightclub, to help make money while you're not even playing. So if that's interesting, look up a guide. Just like the formation assist with the motorcycle club in tip 1, you can also do the same thing as a CEO except with planes. So you can make some of the slowest planes in the game fly very fast if the leader is flying a fast plane. Speaking of planes, if you fly a plane above 900 feet, it will go faster. You can instantly stop your car at any speed by changing characters and then cancelling. If you hold the handbrake on your oppressor Mark II, it will go about 20% faster, which is actually pretty useful if you're trying to fly across the map. During your Calle Perico scope out, you can actually use this motorcycle jump right here to save a lot of time. Sticking with Calle Perico, you can also tell where the hacking cabinet is going to be. If there's no guard at the base of the tower, the cabinet will be on the floor. If there is a guard that's facing away from the tower, the cabinet will be somewhere on the tower, so start climbing. When using the plasma cutter, the fastest way to cut the glass is to hold the button right down until it's just about to overheat, then let it cool all the way down and do it again. After four times, you'll be in. You can poison the guards on Kaya Perico when scoping it out. You can do this by poisoning the water supply right here. This will make the guards a lot weaker in the finale, which is useful if you want to go in loud. The fastest way to get back to the plane after scouting out Kaya Perico is actually just to die or to get spotted. So if you want to get back to the plane when you're on top of the tower, it's time to jump. When you're in first person mode, you actually walk upstairs faster. Kind of strange, not not sure why this exists. If you need to steal a car from an NPC, if you aim down sights and enter the vehicle at the same time, the driver will actually just jump out. This saves you a lot of time from having to throw them out of the vehicle and then start driving. The fastest way to level up Arena Wars is actually just to spin the wheel in the viewing room. Kind of crazy that it's faster to level up Arena Wars by not actually playing Arena Wars, but hey, it is what it is. If you're into racing, you can drive a lot faster in races by driving all on and off the curb. This is a tactic called curb boosting that speedrunners use, and most pro racers use this too. If you get one of the worst cell missions for your businesses, you can actually just change lobbies straight away. You will lose about 5-10% to of the product, but it's a lot better to do this than have to go through one of the awful cell missions. On the same note, if you get your cargo griefed or blown up, if you change lobbies straight away as soon as it happens, the game won't have time to save, and you'll actually get get most of that product back. You can skip pages on your phone by using left or right on the D-pad, or by using the arrow keys if you play on PC. If you plan on playing the Kaya Perico heist a lot, definitely buy the Sparrow. It's one of the fastest helicopters in the game, and you can store it in your submarine, which makes everything a lot faster. If you haven't already, do all the treasure hunts. They're some of the best ways to make money in the game for beginners, and they actually just got a payout increase too. If you finish all of the first dose story missions, 
rooms in order, you get the Brocade 6x6 for free. And if you finish all of the last dose missions in order, you get a free electric supercar called the Virtue. If you have an acid lab, you don't actually need to go into the lab to start resupply missions or just to buy supplies. You can just call Mutt on your phone and do it there. Another tip is if you have the equipment and staff upgrades for any of your passive businesses, it's actually more time effective and cost effective in the long run to just buy supplies instead of doing the bad source missions. Do your weekly time trials. Your normal time trial will get you $100,000 for just a couple minutes of work. And your HSW time trial, if you're on current gen consoles, will get you $250,000. If you use the Hackershell drag bike, which is an HSW vehicle, these things are an absolute breeze. Keep your Oppressor Mark II in your terabyte. It's much easier to request because you can request it through the services menu and it'll also free up another spot in one of your other garages. If you're struggling for money, do your stash houses and G's cash every single day. These features were just added at the start of 2023 and the stash house will give you about $31,000 if you don't have a business and it will fully restock one of your businesses if you do have a business. G's cash will give you about $16,000 as well. For any of your service vehicles like the Kasaka Submarine, the Avenger, Terabyte, if it's nowhere near you, you can actually just request it again and it will spawn at the closest possible spot. If you have saved outfits and you change your outfit in your interaction menu, that will automatically save your profile. So if you just completed a mission and you want to change lobbies for whatever reason, just change your outfit and that will automatically save the game so that your mission progress doesn't get deleted. Any advanced players will want to own a gun locker in one of your properties. What a gun locker does is it actually lets you customize your loadout and remove a lot of the weapons on your weapon wheel. That way you don't have to scroll through all of the bad weapons every time you want to pull out a gun. If you're a low level player, you can actually just call Merriweather for a helicopter pickup for $1,000. When they land, you can just shoot the driver and take the helicopter for yourself. In the Kayo Perico heist, the fingerprint cloner can be very, very difficult for a lot of players. So the easiest way to do it is just put the top of the fingerprint at the top, obviously, then move down one slot, put it on the top one again, and then just move over one slot. Then on the third one, you line it up with the second one and then just move over one more spot to the third. Keep doing that all the way down and you'll be in in no time. Don't forget to restock your businesses when you're playing. A lot of players miss out on a lot of money because they get stuck doing heists or whatever they're doing. And then their businesses are just sitting there doing nothing. So if you're playing, remember every hour or two to swing by your businesses and top them up. If you want to max out your character's strength, start up the mission called Peer Pressure, go to the spot and kill the gangsters, steal the drugs, and then just start punching every NPC on the beach. You won't actually get a wanted level in this mission, so this is one of the fastest ways to level up your strength. Aim your weapon when you land after parachuting, and this will actually skip the animation where you take off your parachute. If you own a high-end apartment that has a heist room, set up a heist and don't actually play it. Then you can just use the invite as a fast travel whenever you want to get out of a sticky situation. Certain helmets in the game allow you to have night vision or thermal vision. If you have those helmets, you can toggle it in the style section in the interaction action menu. If you're being followed by a helicopter that has two gunners on either side, if you actually just kill the two gunners but leave the pilot alive, the helicopter will keep following you, but what that means is it won't spawn in any more helicopters. So it'll just be a helicopter with no weapons following you around. This is pretty useful in a lot of cell missions. For console players, you can now change to hold to sprint in your settings menu. For years and years, you had to spam that X button or A if you're on Xbox to sprint and those days are no more. If you call your mechanic, you can now add a custom name tag to each garage. This is pretty useful so you don't get confused about what's in every single garage. If you hold the handbrake when your car is in mid-air, you can flat spin the car instead of the usual corkscrew axis. This is really, really useful to land correctly and definitely something you're going to want to know if you like racing. You can only withdraw $1 million at a time if you're using the app on your phone, but if you go to an ATM, you can actually withdraw as much money as you want. You can put your own points of interest on the map. 
Is that useful? Eh, probably not, but you can do it. A pretty unknown feature is you can commend other players. If you do that, it'll give them small discounts at ammunition. The cargo bob can pick up the truck for your excess bunker deliveries. This is very helpful and saves a lot of time. Also saves you the annoying mission of driving the ammunition vehicle all the way across the map while NPCs are shooting at you. A lot of players forget that you can cook grenades while driving, just like you can when you're on the ground. This is very useful when you're being chased by NPCs, as you often are, and if you time the explosion right, you'll blow up anyone following you. Raids on your MC businesses only happen if you're an MC president, so whenever you're going outside, make sure you disband your MC. If you're doing a race that's locked in first person, if you press and hold the cinematic button, which is circle on PlayStation, and B on Xbox, you'll actually still be able to drive in third person, which is kind of cheating. When when you request your personal vehicle, either through the interaction menu or through your mechanic, if you look directly down at the ground, it will spawn a lot closer to you. That's because the game really doesn't like spawning your vehicle in when you're looking at the location it can spawn. So if you're looking at the ground, obviously you're not looking at where the vehicle can spawn and it'll spawn as close as it can. If you're drowning, don't forget that you can still eat snacks underwater. So you can actually live a pretty long time underwater if you're trying to swim and get a collectible or whatever you're doing. If you're trying to track a specific player in an online lobby, you can use the highlight player option on your phone and it'll make them flash on the map. For the PvP players out there, if you're pinned down and someone's closing in on your location, call a ma and call a mugger on the player that's coming towards you, and when the mugger knocks them down, it'll give you some time to either get away or kill them. The best place to lose the cops in the entire map is the sewer tunnels. If you don't know how to get into the sewer tunnels, there's two entries. One of them is on the main highway right here, and the other one is just south of the casino. Never buy the document forgery office. It is by far the worst business in the game for making money, and a lot of players actually end up buying it because it's pretty cheap. But trust me, stay far, far away. The fastest supercar in the game is the Devis 8 with the HSW upgrade. A little tip for the long fin setup in the Cayaparico heist, after you hook up the boat and drive out of the police station, hop out of the truck and blow yourself up. This is the fastest way to remove your wanted level and it saves you from trying to lose the cops with a massive truck towing a massive boat. On PlayStation, holding up on the D-pad after you receive an invite will automatically open your phone and accept the invitation. I don't know how, but after 10 years, that's something that I didn't even know before I started making this video. With the new career progress feature in GTA Online, instead of trying to do each tier individually, try and complete the tier 4 ones first. That's because is completing the tier 4 ones will often actually complete a lot of the other ones in lower tiers as well. If someone goes ghosted to you because you killed them too many times, if you put a bounty on them, that will actually remove them being ghosted to you and you can kill them again. During the on parade mission, which is one of the worst missions in the entire game, instead of trying to kill the Avengers, you can actually just fly the jet into the city and there's a good chance the Avengers will crash into the mountain or you can fly on the other side of Mount Chiliad and hopefully they run into that mountain as well. If you're a newer player, or an advanced player even, it's probably wise not to waste too much money on an expensive sports or supercar. GTA Online doesn't really revolve around racing anymore, and it's a much more wise decision in investing in a vehicle that has more protection, armor, or has weapons. For low level players, the best two guns I would recommend getting are the special carbine with a drum mag, and a micro SMG. This is gonna help you shoot out of vehicles better, and it's the best option at a low level. As you level up though, you're going to want to upgrade to either the AP pistol or the tactical SMG for shooting while driving. You can fill up your snacks in most of your businesses. So businesses like the auto shop, the agency, even the Kasatka submarine all have spots for you to get snacks from. If you don't have a business, you can actually go into Simeon's office in Premium Deluxe Motors at the bottom of the city and you can get snacks there as well. Don't forget to spin the lucky wheel at the casino every single day. You can win the car or you can win something like $50,000, which is very nice. A very underrated way to earn quick cash for anyone, even if you're a level 
level 1 is through VIP work. Headhunter is a really, really quick mission that shouldn't take anyone more than 5 minutes and it'll give you $20,000. For newer players, don't waste your money. You need money to make money in GTA Online, so invest it in things like businesses that will let you start up missions and heists that will make you more money in the future. It's very easy to go wasting your money on supercars and clothes, but businesses are the way to go. If you're in a lobby for a full GTA Online day, which is 48 minutes, once it hits 48 minutes, you'll have to pay all of the staff in your businesses. This is your daily expenses fee. But if you change lobbies before the 48 minutes is up, that timer will actually reset and you won't have to pay your bills. If you aim down sights with your gun, you can walk up paths and mountains that you can't normally walk up. It basically gives your character super legs. Also while aiming down sights, you can throw your throwables by pressing the grenade button. If your vehicle gets impounded, you don't actually have to go and retrieve it from the impound. If you have a CEO office, you can actually just call your assistant and retrieve it for $1,000. It's faster to walk through buildings in first person. There's certain properties that you can't run in in GTA, and if you switch to first person, your character will walk faster. If you tap the trigger while you're blind firing a grenade launcher, it will actually go into rapid fire. A lot of newer players don't know that you can actually clean up your phone contact list in your your interaction menu and that way you can delete contacts or really just hide the contacts that you don't want to see on your phone. Just like with your contacts you can also delete radio stations that you don't want on your radio station wheel so if you only like a few radio stations you can make sure that those are the only ones that will pop up. If you want to get back to your CEO office really quickly you can just call your assistant and request a luxury helicopter. Once you hop in it will fast travel you right back to your office. On your screen now are all of the helicopters helicopter spawn locations for low level players. This is for you. So if you're near one of these spots and you need to get across the map, go to one of these spots and a helicopter should spawn. If you're not a high enough level to buy some of the more high level weapons in ammunition, if you own a weapons workshop, either in your Kasatka, hangar, or various other properties in the game, you can actually just go to that upgrade station and buy the Mark II version of that weapon at any level. And those are 101 tips in GTA online that you can use right now. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. I really hope one of these helped you out at least if you sat through this whole video. I hope you stand safe and I will see you in the next one. Boys!